I'm sorry? Please don't take my picture. How's it going guys? I'm against Press coming to you from the Arapahoe County Judicial Services Building. We are at 6984 South Lima in Englewood, Colorado. And we are going to go inside and uh, see if these folks here at the Judicial Services Building appreciate, honor, and respect our right to photograph in public and uh, take video and support the First Amendment. So. All persons entering this building are subject to screening of their persons and effects. All weapons are prohibited, so we're going to go in and uh, go through security, hopefully, and take a look around. Hello. Is there something you need help with? No, we don't need any help. Thank you, though. I appreciate you offering. Okay. Thank you. So we have a nice uh, painting here, Cabin by the Lake by Peggy Taylor. There's some public information pamphlets available. Senior services, interlock devices, some free pens. So free food and services for the Denver homeless information, which is good. I'm sorry? Please don't take my picture. Oh, it's already on. I just had a quick question for you since you offered. And then we're out of your hair. I was just going to ask you uh, if you could tell me what your name is and what services are offered at this I can't. office. Because I don't want my picture taken and that's my choice, please. You don't want your picture taken and that's your choice, but you offered, you offered to help me. Well, I believe you are one of our clients. Oh, okay. And you're just coming through. Right, right. We're just trying to do a, we're doing a public service video just to let people know what services are offered here at this agency. Uh, but if you like, I can speak to the other lady down at the end if that's your preference. Okay. Yes. Or is there is there a supervisor or anybody that might, I might be able to speak to for a moment? I will see. Have a seat. Please. Okay. Thank you. I'll stand, but I'll I'll wait. Okay. 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 Okay.
No, but maybe my bra. Um, I have like metal right here. I don't know. So we're just waiting to see if there's a supervisor or somebody that would be willing to uh, just let us know what kind of services are offered here at this uh, department, willing to uh, give us a little information. And the young lady that uh, sits here at this desk was kind enough to go see if she could get someone for us. <laughs> I think she was upset we were still here. She has lollipops. I probably won't get one though. I wasn't a good boy. Are you able to give us any information at all? Uh, all I, I was asking the young lady that's sitting here, she was going to go see if she could find someone. My only question was, I asked her what her name was, and if she could just tell me what services are provided at this office. Okay, I can find out. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Hello. Can I just ask you a quick question, ma'am? Um, I'd rather not. I can't get anybody to answer a question for me here. Um, I don't, want, I don't like the way I sound on camera, so I don't want to answer any questions. Well, you're not going to sound good coming through this metal can. Anyway, I'll make you sound good. Don't worry. No, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? You, you, you would sound a lot better if you answered my question. I just have a quick question about your services here at the building. I'm good, though. Thanks. Okay. Well, that doesn't make you sound good. Do you work for the public? No. Are you a county employee? Yeah, so you work for the public. So I just had a quick question about what the services offered here at this office are, and I was out of your hair. I'm good, but I don't want to answer. You don't want to answer? Okay. Hey. 
and solely because I'm, you, you don't like the way you sound on camera? If I didn't have the camera, would you answer my questions? If I go put the, if I, not, no. even if I go put the camera away, you won't help me? No. So you just, ref, your denial of service, you're just going to refuse me service? Even if I go put the camera away? Yeah, I don't want no. no, I said if I put it away. No. You still wouldn't help me? No. Well, that's a denial of service. I'm going to have to get your name from your uh, supervisor. That's not reasonable. That's not very nice at all. I just think back my number. No. Something tell me we probably have the sheriff showing up here any minute instead of just answering my question. And then they'll, uh, I guess they'll answer my questions. This is a strange office. So now everybody that was sitting up here has left. And uh, this young lady said that she would not even answer my question if I went and put my camera away. Hmm. Wonder what's going on in here. I hate to interrupt you folks, but just a quick question. The uh, people that work here won't tell us what services are offered at this building. Would any of you be willing to fill us in? Or if not, it's okay, I'm just asking. I don't want to intrude. No, we're just trying, what we're doing is, this is my son, and we're just doing a video tour of the government complex here. And we've gone into motor vehicles, a couple other offices had a great experience with them. So we're just trying to basically find out what services are offered here. That's all. And for some reason they all ran away and hid. I don't know. Scared of the cameras, I guess. So you guys look friendly. I thought I'd just ask you. Yeah, no, not specific. I'm not wanting anybody's specifics or anything. Just a jet, like, I don't even know what this office does. What they're... Judicial services? So they assist you through your court process or you do your filings here and... I got you. Okay. Got you. Yeah, no, and I certainly don't want any specifics or particulars of your case at all. Um, and the last thing I'll ask you is, do you think the staff here is friendly? Are they helpful? Are you happy with the services you get? I mean, yes. Okay. Right. Right. For yourselves, yeah, like if you guys didn't want to speak to me, I have to respect that 100% and I wouldn't bother you again. Uh, but when you choose to work in the public and you take a public job and you're paid by tax dollars mm -hmm. and you're basically a public servant, not to use the word derogatory, but that's what it is, same as police officers, judges, anybody else. So there's an obligation to provide service to the public when you're in that position. And they chose to work in the public and that's a noble career and we uh, appreciate them and honor them for that. But you know, this kind of behavior is a little strange. It makes me start wondering what's going on in the back. You know, I'm suspicious of them, I think, more than they're suspicious of me. So that's why I just thought I would ask you guys, and you've been extremely friendly, and I appreciate you giving me the info you did. I thank you for that. Okay, best of luck, guys. Thank you. There's not even, like, a button to press. I'd really like to speak to a manager and just let them know... Uh, that this sort of behavior is a little unacceptable. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? How are you? Another one that's just gonna ignore me. Wow, these people are rude. We might have to come back here with a few more people. Wow. All right, Kish, I can almost guarantee you the sheriff's on the way here, based on this behavior. So we'll stick around to either uh, till either that happens or uh, somebody just decides to answer a simple question and we can leave.
Is it by coincidence that they have no mission statement? Our mission is to ignore the public and deny service whenever possible, depending on our comfort level at that particular moment. Is there a phone number for this place anywhere? Um, Business card, phone number. If we can get a phone number, I'll call up and see if I can get somebody to answer the phone. Oh, Nothing? Yeah, can you see if you can look it up? It's amazing you come to a government office and you have to call them to get service because there's nobody here. They basically, this, this entire counter has been abandoned because we're here with the cameras. And I had two different people tell me they would go try to get a supervisor or someone that would speak with me and they just disappeared in the back. Very interesting experience. Uh, Division of Motor Vehicles. I'm just looking around to see if we can find a phone number, guys. This is really incredible. Anything? I'm trying to find it. it, just, it okay. It's all about the Wi-Fi or something. Thanks for like some other place. This is strange, man. They actually literally just abandoned this entire counter because we're here. This is peculiar. You have to make sure it's the uh, judicial services. You did? Uh, what is it? 720. Hold on one second. 720. 874. 874. 3350. 3350. Okay. Let me go out in the hallway here and see if we can get anybody to answer. You have reached Arapahoe County Judicial Services for pretrial supervision and check-in, press 1. For court-ordered community service, press 2. For community corrections, press 3. To reach a pretrial officer located at the courthouse, press 4. All right, so I'm going to go with one. If you are calling to do a pretrial check -in Seem the most generic. Or you're not sure who your pretrial officer is, press 1. If you know the name of your pretrial officer and need to speak with them for something other than a check-in, press 2. Si habla español, favor de marque el número 3. To repeat this message, press 6. To return to our main menu, press 7. Let's just go with zero. Please try again. If you are calling to do a pretrial check-in with our front desk, please try again. If you are calling, if you are calling to do a pretrial check-in with our front, you have reached the Arapahoe County Judicial Services for pretrial supervision and check-in. Press one. For court-ordered community service, press two. For community, please try again. I'm pressing zero when I can't get anything. County Judicial Services. Well, it's not going to work. Let's go back in. Is there somebody that can help us? Hello? Is there somebody that can help us? Or does everybody just look at me and ignore me? I am here to ask you what services are provided in this department. I can't hear you. Is there any way you could turn this on? 
Oh. So uh, we, uh, our division is Judicial Services. Okay. And so people are in court order to come to our office to either perform community service or be supervised on pretrial supervision. Okay, that answers my question. Though. Okay, great. And what was your name? Uh, my name is Brad Camby. Brad Camby. My name is Jason. Hi, Jason. Okay. And um, to tell you what we're doing here. Sure. Okay, this is a First Amendment audit. I understand that. Okay. Um, and you guys just failed miserably, except for yourself personally. You you saved the day for these folks. Uh, but besides that, I mean, these guys literally just abandoned this entire counter for 15 minutes because we were here. I was told by two of your employees that they would go get someone in a supervisor capacity or somebody that would speak to us. Everybody just disappeared in the back. Well, so I've, excuse me, I've been on a phone call, so... Are you the supervisor? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So okay. you're the guy I was waiting for? Yes. Okay. Okay. Would you have a business card by any chance and I'll get out of your hair? Yeah, let me go grab one real quick. Thank you very much. Wow. And Brad, just one last there thing. Go, I'm, I'm just going to need a business card for the young lady that sits here and the young lady that's sitting at the other end. Okay, I'm not sure if our business person actually have business cards, but I'll, I'll see if they do. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they don't. They're not in a row where they would have a business card. Do you want to just write their names on the back of here so I know who they are, who I spoke to? Um, let me check on that. They're public employees. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back. And, and actually, first name and last initial would be fine. I don't need the full last name. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, thank you. And he wasn't on a phone call. He's been walking around back there the whole time. I filmed him, filmed him several times walking by. He may not come back. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he might just disappear on us again. See, what they don't realize is they're actually keeping us here. I would have been gone. Would have been gone a long time ago. There you go. Um, I talked to the county attorney, and he said that we, there's no legal obligation to give you the names of the... Uh, oh, but there is. It's, it's called public information. It's, okay. And I, so you could consider this a Freedom of Information Act request in verbally, and this information is readily available here, so you're obligated to give it to me. That's the way the law works. Okay, I'm just following the advice of our county attorney. He's wrong. Do you want to have him come out here? I don't want you know. I don't want this to turn into something it doesn't have to turn into okay, legally. Thank you. So you're just going to walk away, Brad? I'm going to have work to do, sir. Can I speak to the attorney? Um, no. All right, Brad. Okay, so that was Brad Camby. Uh, he's the division manager here at the Judicial Services Division. And uh, let's see, his office number is 720-874-3350. Um, and if there's anything that you saw that you have an issue with, you have a right to uh, address those issues with this office here. So please uh, feel free to give Brad a call and uh, let him know what you think of the service here at his department. Uh, please be respectful when you call, no cursing, no threats, uh, no yelling. Uh, if you're gonna call, please make it a constructive phone call for the purposes of uh, answering any questions that you might have, and uh, that's it. So we're gonna let these folks get back to work because we know they're not gonna do that until we leave. All right, guys, well, that was a blistering fail if I've ever seen one. Um, some strange folks working at the Arapahoe County Judicial Services at 6984 South Lima. Um, and again, I'm putting this phone number out there, not so there can be a call flood. I'm not asking anybody to call up and give these folks a hard time. Uh, but you do have a legal right to seek redress with your government if you are not happy with uh, anything that you saw in this video. So again, uh, the division manager's name at the Judicial Services Division is Brad Camby. That's K-A-M-B-Y. Uh, his office number is 720-874-3350. And again, folks, please be respectful. Uh, please keep it in a uh, business context and uh, feel free to call up and uh, ask any questions or express any concerns you might have. Um, but that's it. 
So I think the video speaks volumes. Um, you know, that's that's it is what it is. It's a shame that these guys have to be this way. And I hope they're not taking it out on the people that are here for uh, service. So I guess that's going to wrap this one up, guys. We're going to take off, uh, get in the car, and uh, head out to the next one. So for now, coming to you from Arapahoe County, Judicial Services, our good friends, um, watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll see you on the next one, guys, and we will be following up on this, so stay tuned. And uh, have a good day. Amagansett Press, out.